that way. Look, look how clear the road is, literally. Well, there, there is plenty of space. Are you blind? You shouldn't be operating the wagon if you're blind. Oh, no. Come on. Coming. Move along. Oh. Come on, Jesus, Jesus H. Christ. Oh, no, yeah. I think... Now he's just he's just having a... His, he's just having a moment of silence. <laughs> for the, he's gonna have a moment of silence in a minute if he doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you dumb? Brother. You. In the nicest way possible, please kindly get the fuck out of the street. Okay, I'ma help him a little bit. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, 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 this is a very smart thing. It's Valentine. But when these things start happening, it's time to leave Valentine. <laughs> I mean, I, I made it. I, they're no longer congested. I applied some gumbo. I know. <laughs> <laughs> some gumbo to the dumbo. Exactly. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how witty. Yeah. He's hanging around me for too long. It's, I'm rubbing off. It's all you. It's all you. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, maybe I we am, should I am so that, proud that of you. Vacate the Valentine. Yes. You know, the only reason you should go to Valentine is to ask directions for how to get out of it. Uh, that's, that's, Shouldn't that's even that's go Oh, hey, Shaw. I didn't mean to wake you, little bubba. I was just telling these fine folks a tale about what happened to Valentine a few days ago. Ah, you heard the story a hundred times, I know, I know. But hey, I may have another tale for you. If you fine folks can promise to keep it a secret. This one's a tale of a... Well, it's a cold tale. A cold tale of revenge, and also a little bit of forgiveness. It all started when me and Aiden made our way up to St. Denis after a good round of hunting. Left. Do you remember that stage, Reddy? But of course. You've been on it a few times. The Vaudeville. How do you do, sir? No idea what. Wait a minute. I recognize that voice. Oh, hi there. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What about That's you? That's your telegram. I, sorry, I, it took a while. I actually, when I put out mine, I was in Rhodes, and then I went down to do some business at Blackwater. I bumped into this bumbling buffoon, and then I ran back. Bumble, bubble, bumble. Mm. See, he's bumbling. I didn't... I, I thought you were, uh... <clears throat> you know, I, I should start getting used to you, uh, tagging along with stragglers, but... Stragglers? This is my that, brother! <laughs> oh! I know, I know, that's why I'm okay with it. This, this man and I were like two hands on the... I don't... I don't... No, 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 please don't. Um, Look what you did, you made him cry. I, so scary out there. I, I don't actually have any plans, I was just wondering oh. what you were up to. You wanna go hunting with us? Sure, I wouldn't mind that. I haven't done that in a while. Where were you uh, hunting? Uh, wherever we can go. We can go gator hunting, we can go... Oh, actually! I heard they were selling new boats. I was gonna check that out too. Yeah, Pushing I've actually. Trip. So we decided to go hunting, but it wasn't meant to last very long. Seems that there was something on Tegan's mind that she didn't really want to share yet, which had me a bit concerned. But on the other hand, Tegan's an adult, and she is more than capable to take care of herself. I might uh, be leaving you. Um... That was quick. Well. Uh... Oh, it's uh, it's okay. I mean, you, you don't have to. Worry about. No, no, I'm sorry, Silas. You are uh, you are an adult. You get to decide what you want to do. If you need me for anything, do ask. If you don't, well, I guess that's fine. Of course, I may I may come by a little later. 
You're fine. All right, you two, you two enjoy. Well, I hope you're feeling better. Oh yeah, I, I, I am. I am. As, totally as better. soon as she stops having to listen to me, she feels a lot better. Wow. <laughs> God damn it. Well, see you later, you two. Thank you. Care. Thank you. You know what? Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Come on, you son of a... Oh, you heavy. You're heavy. You're really heavy. And you shut your mouth. Ooh, wow. Certainly a better way of doing it. Ooh, Jesus, that tires the shit out of you. After a rather successful hunt, Adrian and I made our way back down to the cabin, where we stayed until the very next morning. When morning did finally strike, we made our way back to town to sell our game. But Deegan leaving us was nagging at me, and I figured we should probably head down to St. Denis to check on her. To keep a long story short, turned out she wasn't doing too well, and she sent me a desperate message out from Coulter. So Aiton and I packed up our horses, and we rushed our way up there to see what we could do. Aiton, I don't know how to ask this of you, but by the telegram I received from Tegan, it sounded like she was quickly writing something. Might be that she's in trouble, so we may have to go in guns a-blazing. I brought something I should. Almost there, Aiden. Oh. Okay. Okay. Game plan. We can't rush in there without a plan. What information do you have? I know that something's wrong. She was able to send me a telegram and she's in one of the shacks. Okay. So we assume that there are people there, bad people. Yep. No matter what we take it. I see smoke. That's bad. Oh, that's really bad. What? What? There's... There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of fire. Wolves. Wolves behind us. Okay, Reggie, I got it. They know we're coming now. Yeah, great. That, that takes out the element of surprise, doesn't it? Well, it's you and me, Hoss. We got this. I don't want to ask uh, this of you. If you don't want to do this, you go right back. No, I'm here now. She's your friend, and... I can't ask you to die for my friends, Aiden. You can ask me to die for you, Silas. I won't see you go down. And let's go fuck him up. If anybody's in here, announce yourself. I swear to God, I will put a fucking round of buckshot up your ass. Tegan! Mm. 
Maybe it's the other cabin. And it could only be one. Of course it's this one. I think I know what happened. I think she was having a bit of a cute moment with her boyfriend up in this new cabin she showed me last time. And something must have come up. Tegan. Tegan, are you in there? Silas, why are you bring Stay right here. What the fuck is going on? You're back here, back here, back here, back here, back here. Why'd you bring Eaton? What the fuck not? Oh, fuck. What the so hell happened? Who's this son of a bitch? Um, James, you want to introduce yourself to uh, Mr. Silas right here? <sighs> sure. That's... Why the fuck not? I shot him in the leg, by the way. Are you bleeding? I've, I've got it covered for now. God damn it. I thought you was getting robbed. No, I brought this gentleman up here. You brought this gentleman up here? Yes. James, how about you introduce yourself? I mean, I said, I, I mean, he already said my name. Also, howdy, Silas. Can you just talk some sense in this crazy lady, for one? This is James. This is James what, Callahan. What's Do you going know the name? On, Sil is Silas okay? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're fine. What the, you, who, the, who the hell is this? Hold on. Do you know a James Callahan, Silas? No, I do not. As Zeke never told you. This is no, this is not. a stepfather. You are. And by the fact you're tied up on the floor, he means he must not really like you that much. He is here to collect a debt. Mm -hmm. That is not a debt that he should come collecting. I don't know, you two seem more sensible than this crazy bitch. Can you just untie me, please? Mister, if uh, my friend here tied you up, she did that for a very good reason. So, it turns out I was wrong in both cases. Tegan wasn't tied up, and neither was Ezekiel up there. But instead, we found Ezekiel's stepdad, who had a nefarious history with the poor fella. Turns out Tegan managed to track him down before that fella tracked Ezekiel down. To keep a long story short, turns out that Ezekiel or their family own a debt of $2,000 to some goon somewhere. So we had two choices. We could either pay him the money and hope that he went away and that he wouldn't come back to us. Or either me or T would have to put a bullet in his head and hope that that's that. Silas, I want to kill that fucking man. So, uh, man. And what, what, what's... He, he's done some unspeakable things to Zeke. I've heard a lot of stories about him, and I didn't know he was ever going to come here. But he's done things that a father should not do to a child. And now he's and, here. And now he's here, trying to collect a, a debt that is not his to collect, but I have a feeling he, he's, he's straight up said he's coming here for revenge, and that does not mean just collecting a debt. It you means more than that. You know that if you put a bullet in this man, you ain't coming back from this. That's, I'm not, like I said, I want to shoot him, but I'm not. I'm, something's stopping me, but I, I, I don't know what to do, because if I let him go, he's going to go after Zeke. Regardless. And now that he doesn't do know my name. Do you want this man dead? I don't know. Think about it very clearly. Because I'm not about to let you spill blood, but I can. I, I'm afraid to let him go because I, 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 I want to, I want to give someone a warning and just let him go and tell him to fuck off out of the state. But he's not going to. He's even said it when I asked him. He said he's if I if I, I asked if you know if I let you go, what are you gonna do? And he said he's gonna go straight to find Zeke. And I can't let that happen. How do you want to do this? You want me to put a bullet I, in his head? I will do it right here, I, right now. I don't know, Silas. I don't want that on my. 
hands because it's not on I... your hands this is not on you this is on me i'm doing this not you <sighs> i silas i don't want that that's what this is all, all i fight. want all, all i want you to tell me is what is this man gonna do to zeke if we let him go why don't you ask him tell and me. i'll let i'll let you Corner? i'll let you see what let you show him his his ways hey can you be a favorite want to do anything stupid it's okay. Can you, can you and Tegan go outside for just one second? I, uh, I Silas. No. Don't worry. I'm not doing anything down. Please don't. Do you have my word? Oh. Stepdad. Is that right? Yep. And what brings you all the way down to our lovely state? Well, I think I already said before, but I'm looking for my son, Ezekiel. Yeah, and why are you looking for your son? Because last time I heard, he wasn't so peachy with you. I mean, just because he won't own up to his own responsibility is not my problem. Not wrong, but my uh, friend over here tells me you're not going to go away. And this man does not want to leave. Just some wolves, do not worry. Here's the thing. It's either going to be me, or it's going to be someone else. And by far, I'm the family member, which makes it the easiest route. What is it you want to do with him? I want to convince him to get serious and get me serious. my money. What kind of money are you looking for? <sighs> How much is it? It's around 2000 Why do you need $2,000? Because he lost it. Lost it to what? Uh, don't worry. You want me to roll you over a bit? Yeah, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> two thousand dollars. He lost that. Yeah, he did. So if I were able to get you two thousand dollars, you'd give me your word you'll never come back here and you're leaving me here alone. Hey, really? I need really willing to pay that much for that milk sop. For Ezekiel? I would pay double if I had it. But yes, it would make Lewis, the guy that we both owe money to, very happy. Don't wriggle out of this, because if you start running, I will start shooting. I got a 12-gauge pump-action shotgun in my back I ain't afraid to use. You wait right here, you don't move. Not a hair, not a peep. Vegan? I may have a uh, plan out of this without violence. Aiden, could you watch him again for me? The pleasure. Did he tell you what he wanted? He wants Zeke. No, he wants, wants $2,000. I... He's not... That's not all he wants, Silas. I know even if we give him that money, he's gonna come back. He seemed mighty eager to get that money. And I told him there was another part of the deal. If we hand him that money, his son is in his eyes, and whoever wants him, they are dead. They were killed by me. And I paid off his debt. That's what he's gonna tell. He better. Because he got his money. Isn't that what he wants? Isn't that what the big boss wants? Money. That seems to be the case, yes. And I would be willing. Uh, uh, fuck, dude. I, uh, you know, Zeke means everything to me. I would give him more than just that if I, if I could guarantee his safety. We can it's up to you. Make the decision if you want. We can do the money. I, we can let him go. I'll make sure he gets on that boat. He does not get on that boat. He's going to be torn to pieces. Even if I have a, to spend 64 months in Sisica to do it. That's a lot of money, Silas. It's... We have. I don't know if I can let you do that, Silas. That's more money than most people see in their lifetimes. Zeke. I'm... I'm willing to... It's up to you. I uh, I guess we could give it a, a try. All right, let's ask him if just giving him the money will be enough. Okay. All right. If you're given two thousand dollars, will you leave the state? That was the deal that Silas was talking about. Is it an actual deal that you're going to conform to? That you're going to stick to? 
much of a choice. That's not what I want to hear. I want to hear a yes or a no. And a no is yes. going to mean I'm going to shoot you in the head. <laughs> then yes. I'm telling you right now, if we give you that money and I see you anywhere in this state, the next day or the following week or whenever, you are going to get a bullet in your head. And we're going to take that money back. We took Mr. Callahan down the mountain and took him towards Blackwater while we put him on a boat just to make sure that he would take the money and not come back to bother us ever again. Otherwise, we'd put a bullet in his dumb ass. I didn't see anybody. That's good. Good. Let's end time here. I was thinking, let me carry him to the dockyard for. Let's just let him off here. Everyone else is gonna look at us weirdly if we go up there. All right, get your gun out, then. Get your gun ready. I'll put him on the ground. No, I'll. Got it. Yes. Watch your head. <clears throat> okay. Again, we've made this deal. You know what happens if you return, or if you do not leave. There will be no second fucking chances. I swear to God, James. Take the I wish I could say it was a pleasure doing business with you, but for you, Silas, I will say that. <clears throat> you can't blame me. Also, one more thing. Tell Ezekiel... When he starts calling back to me, that uh, I'll forgive him. Fuck out. We'll do. Am I gonna tell him anything? He's always gonna be calling back. He's moved on, on the better things. I, I really hope it's over, Silas. I, I, I want. I really did want to put a bullet in him, but at the same time, he. This is going to make sure nobody else will. Now he has the money. There's no reason for that fella to come after him. He's been paid off. The only reason would be his vendetta. I mean, that's not going to be funded by a man that just wants money. I hope that's all he wants. It didn't sound like it. Hey, I'm so sorry. I got a massive headache. That's okay. In, in, in oh. We dealt with it. He's on the boat. He's on the boat? Nobody died. Oh, thank God for that. So, managing to deal with Ezekiel's family trouble without having to shoot somebody in the head was quite a feat. I don't blame uh, Tegan for wanting to shoot that fella in the head, I suppose that's what I would have done in her position, but I figured this might lead to, uh, well, nobody coming to check up on him since he has the money he needed and Ezekiel is still safe with us. Anyway, you're probably sick and tired of hearing me talk for this long and, well, Thank you very much for listening and keep a watchful eye and keep the night at bay. <laughs>